da, 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 da. It is history of words referring to the elders. Red, let me ask you something. <clears throat> if your hair was yellow, would we call you yellow? I don't know. Now out, out onto our history. Red, stemming from the word redeemable. Also red D without the A. Or how about ridiculous? Because Red, what I'm saying is utterly ridiculous. Red, the Iron Man. Iron, stemming from ironically. Jeez, isn't it ironic that iron is the first four letters of ironically? Jesus. Mikey D, thou say you are so big. Stemming from bigger and to a greater degree, biggest. Or possibly beguile for the latter. You're always absent. Thou must eat with family. Hmm. Possibly because absent comes from, yes, Mike, absolutely. And if you're absent, you're absolutely not present. In which present stems from presentable. You certainly cannot present yourself if you're absolutely presentably absent. Jeez. Rich, I mean rich, I mean rich, 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 rich. And reach, and with the same letters, which means it takes a double negative reciprocal ism. Meaning, if you have two fifths, you take the reciprocal, you get five halves, no problem here. Yeah? And then flip it again, that's why we have the word double in it, rich, in the context of the sentence as a whole. And you really get five halves. Why the word negative? I simply say, why not? Reach, stemming from reaction, and maybe reckless, or possibly preacher, who reaches out to his audience. Rich, uh, sorry to say, but you'd have trouble with that one. Okay. The first of the elders is a man named Adam Simon, also known as Red, due to his flaming, fiery, flamboyant, fabulous, famous red hair. Red is well known for having tremendous tolerance for injuries. Throughout three varsity sports, Red has remained practically injury free. As Dr. Rosenrosen once stated, Red has bones of steel. Thus, he is referred to by close friends as the Iron Man. Go. Go. Red was an outstanding soccer player at Eastchester High School. Red was a scoring machine at Eastchester High School. Red set many records there. One of the most prominent was 25 goals he scored on one season. Go. During an informal basketball outing at Tufts University, Red ruptured tendons in his ankle. This unfortunately brought him out of the starting lineup of the Tufts Jumbo soccer team. Three. You get tired. Red starts rehabilitating his ankle to eventually regain his starting spot on the team. Just all good to go. Red now plays like a man possessed. He completely donates his body to the sport every game he plays. Red has showed dedication and commitment to the one sport he loves, soccer. Make us proud, Red. But don't turn off this even though the Mets are on Channel 9. <laughs> The question still remains, could Mike D'Angelica have been a force in the NBA at the age of 19? From hours and hours of hard practice, Mike's feet couldn't withstand the constant pounding of the sport. Mike went to see the famous orthopedist, Dr. Rosen Rosen. Mike. It's in my deepest sympathy that I must inform you that you are suffering from podiatrous stress fracturus, also known as the common stress fracture. You realize this means the end of your basketball career. Mike looks back on his fine quality of joy as a former basketball player and questions his true potential. Mike is now a dominant force on the Tufts Jumbo Rugby Squad. On the off-season, Mike likes to build houses and dental offices to keep in shape for an illustrious rugby career. Enjoy your new house, Mike. You've earned it. P.S. I hope the ceilings are high. <laughs> the last of the elders is I am what I am. I am green eggs and stam. It was at this location, the Pony League field, that Rich Stam suffered a tragic, everlasting shoulder injury. Hit it, Stam! His interest for years has been that of hockey. The idea of shoulder pads was surely come. Stam had a wonderful hockey career at East Chester High School. Due to the fact that he won various honors and led his Eagles to many victories, he was heavily recruited by many colleges. With Rich's good board scores and fantastic grades, he chose to go Ivy League. Rich played JV hockey for Brown, 
but was shocked by the number of talented players whose superior skills matched his own. He couldn't hack the rigorous brown hockey program and chose to hang up his skates after playing for almost two complete decades. Rich, similar to Mike D'Angelica, discovered the violent game of rugby and immediately fell in love with it. Rich is a truly talented rugby player and literally runs over people from ground now. Rich made all New England his first year playing. Rich, keep up the good work and keep reaching for your goals.